Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I'm gonna give you my review of the Motorola Moto X. So we're gonna jump right into it. This is the 2014 edition. We wanna thank AT&T for sending us along to us, and let's quickly talk about the Motorola Moto X. So here we go right here. The Moto X, very interesting device coming from uh, Motorola. I definitely put this in a category if someone was looking for this. It's sort of a, a smartphone for people that are more about phone first than anything else, because it's definitely more on, the, I would say, uh, not so much the fabric of big screen size. Even though it does have a pretty decent screen size, it's definitely more someone looking for a smartphone first and looking to make phone calls and text more than anything else. But let's jump right into it. It does come with some pretty cool features. So first you have a nice 5.2 inch HD display, which we'll turn on right here. You can see nice, vibrant, sharp, looks very good. It's gonna be satisfying for most people out there when you're looking at text, pictures, videos on here. You're gonna like, you, you don't like the way the screen looks on it. Um, outside of that, you have a front face of camera there at the top. Here at the bottom, you do have, um, here at the back, excuse me, you can get some different custom, um, custom backings here. Ours is the nice wood uh, one that AT&T sent along to us here. So it feels a little bit different, but it's nice. It's sort of, you know, wood on plastic on metal. So you feel like you're getting all the elements within one device here, but it does feel pretty nice. This is a little belt, uh, sort of a little, uh, bit, uh, sort of a little dented here with the Motorola logo. So that's where you kind of hold your finger. You just put it right there where you can rest your finger at. You do have a 13 megapixel camera with 4K video recording, which we uploaded a separate video for that, so definitely check out how the 4K video looks on it. Pretty good audio and pretty, pretty good video quality, I definitely have to say, coming from Motorola in that case. It does have uh, sort of this ring flash that's, that's sort of around here, so when it flashes out. We have some test pictures up available on the website at bw1.com, and those, you'll see that the camera's gonna be good quality for most people out there. I wouldn't say it's the best camera out there, but it's definitely an improvement over the previous versions of the Moto X, I definitely have to say there. You have your volume and, volume and uh, power buttons here on the side. Right here, so it's a little lower, so it's not right where your fingers, is, uh, your thumb's gonna rest. So you can just power on very easily, like that. Have nothing on this side. Here on the bottom, you have your micro USB port. Hit top, 3.5 mm headphone jack. This centered right in the center here, right next to your SIM card tray. This takes nano SIM, by the way, as well. All right. So with Moto, you guys pretty much know with Motorola, you get as close to a stock Android uh, sort of experience as you possibly can get, and. Um, you can kind of look and see here. We have a nice little cool background one of them that came with. You got your typical, you know, apps pre-installed. The AT&T apps here are pre-installed if you want to use so those. the Moto X, um, like I said, it's mostly a stock experience that you have on it with some customizations on it. They do have some customization as far as the um, voice controls as well, too. You do have um, sort of Moto's little extra system within there. So if you go, okay, Moto X, just bring it up here and you can have it do anything you really want it to do. If you do a search, it's gonna open up to Google now. So I can say, hey, uh, what's, let's see, think of what's today's weather like? I just made up something there. Oh, it's not taking it. Speaking now, it opens up to Google now, though, and you can't, you can do anything you really want to do it. It's taking everything in there, but let's show a real command. Okay, Moto X, what's the current weather? And it opens up Google now, brings up the weather here. Five degrees and overcast in New York. Still thinks it's in New York for whatever reason that is, but you guys kind of get the idea there with that. Kind of what you have with the voice commands and such. But like I said, pretty stock bear experience. If you guys like that type of experience, it's pretty simplified for the most part here. Let's go jump into the settings. I can show you some of the different features in here. Go to about phone, you see you're running Android 4.4.4. Not like I said, Moto sort of skin on top of it here, but not much of a skin really at all on it here. Take a look at our storage here. You do get um, 16 gigabytes of storage built into this one. There isn't the ability to expand the storage, unfortunately, and there isn't the ability to replace the well, replace the battery. The battery is built in, but the battery life is pretty good inside of here. It's definitely a phone that can get you through the day on um, battery life, depending on what type of user you are. If you're just someone that's really going to be using simply just a couple of email accounts, texting, and do a little light web browsing and such like that, you're probably going to be pretty good. If you're a power user, you're probably going to look you you you'll just about make it through the day but you probably might want to look to charge at least probably one time to keep it keep the juices on uh, flowing there for it but it's overall a pretty cool experience it's running a quad core processor on it with two gigabytes of ram haven't seen any slowdown here with it at all it's been a really nice experience um video quality looks good on it as well too audio quality with speakers will actually jump into that by going into the gallery here 
Only criticism is that it's still using a lot of the older Android I, um, stock icons like Gallery. That's a pretty older one there. But let's uh, go up here. Let's see if we can pull up some video here. There should be one here. We'll go ahead and play that in the video player. Good morning, folks. Bowman here from BW1, and we are recording here with the Motorola. The speakers, um, Motorola some firing speakers are actually pretty good on here. 4K resolution. Even though it's kind of leaning a little bit towards the side here, but that's not pretty good. A little bit of uh, video here as we're taking some pictures walking around the city here in Boston, and it's a uh, very, very cold day. Yeah, right. The video well, quality is pretty good on this display as well, too, here at 1080p. We'll take a look at some different pictures that I took around here so you get an idea. You can zoom in here a little bit. All right. So this is just a quick look and quick review here of the Moto X. Like I said, it, it's been out for a little while, so a lot of people already kind of know. I've kind of made a decision on it, but if you're someone that's looking for this, this is definitely, I think, a smartphone first. If someone's looking for some simplified, not too many frills with it, but still got some powerful specs. Good 13 megapixel camera, quad-core processing inside of it. A nice, simplified software experience. Doesn't give you those extra additives that you might be looking for if you're looking in like other carriers such as other brands such as Samsung and uh, LG and such. But you do get, like I said, decent software suite. It's mostly stock experience with it. And overall, a very, very good package here. It's definitely at the price range that they have. I think in most places, I think it's about roughly around uh, I want to say $99 or so in most most cases it's probably cheaper than that by the time I've really by the time this is uh, kind of kind of been out already so this is Bowman here from BW1 this is my quick review of the Motorola Moto X if you guys have any questions comments concerns please post them below also check us on our main website at bw1.com also all our social networks the link to those in the description and always remember to live your tech world in high definition thanks for watching